Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be covering Occidental Petroleum one more time as many of you requested for an update video. So this is going to be my update video. If you haven't checked out the other video, please go back in my history and look at that video when Occidental was trading at $16 and now it has come down to $13.82. And that's why I've been adding more shares of Occidental to my petroleum. And I want to explain why this is one of my favorite companies to buy right now in this pandemic. So to get started, the reason why it came down from 16 to 13.82, like from here to here, 17% was because Warren Buffett actually sold his shares in his SEC filing. But the shares that he sold were not his preferred stock, okay? The, sh the shares that he sold were common stock that he received as dividend, uh, uh, as uh, I believe an 800 million dividend uh, back in May, I believe, when they gave their dividend to Warren Buffett. And basically, he received the dividend not in cash, but he received it in stock. So he received, received all stock dividend. And basically, what I'm thinking is, after May, when Occidental went up, he must have sold it right around somewhere in the 20s, okay? So there you go. That's the reason why Occidental came down. And that's why I think this is a better buying opportunity. One, because... Warren Buffett did not sell all his shares. He only sold the ones that he got as a dividend. And as you know, he was pretty disappointed as he got stock as a dividend. So he had all the right to sell it and get his cash, okay? So Warren Buffett is a very strict man and he wanted his cash and he took it. And that's why people thought that, oh, Warren Buffett sold the stock, let's make it go down. Any bad news for Occidental is a minus 10% loss, okay? Occidental reacts to the news so badly during this pandemic and that's because of its 30 billion debt because of that anarcho deal um, mind you that Warren Buffett did help fund that deal so that's the reason why he stepped in with that anarcho deal and um, I think that when oil as you can know that crude oil is at like $42 I think that crude oil is heading up to the 50s and I think when traders see Oil at the 50 range, they'll be like, oh, let's target some oil stocks. Let's make the oil stocks go up because oil is pretty much survivable. And these companies are survivable at break-even prices of 30, right? So if oil is about 30, they're pretty much break-even. And now that it's 40, I think it's a great time still to buy Occidental. Um, in the long run, when demand comes back, I see oil going to the 60s. So that's even better. And uh, if you don't know what Occidental is, it's a company founded in, um, let me check, 1980, it's IPO, uh, and it was founded in 1920, and it's basically an oil company in specialized in the hydrocarbon exploration only in the United States, I believe, but also maybe in the Middle East and Colombia. And um, it's not as big as Exxon or Chevron, its market cap is around 12 billion, it did go to $25 billion in the, I believe, in June, but as you know, it's half the price now. Um, its rivals are probably around Apache Corporation, which is also pretty uh, not that big. It's around $5 billion, I believe. Yeah, $5.7 billion. So it's half the size of Oxy, but there you go, guys. So Oxy stock, literally, if you look at its max, a few years ago, just two years ago, it was $83. And now it's $13.82. It's part of the S&P 500. And it's one of those stocks with big debt and has chances to go BK. And that's only if the virus wave comes again. And countries go into lockdown and there's literally no demand for oil. So that's the risk you're taking. If you're ready to take that risk, I really recommend you to maybe think about purchasing this stock because I really do think it will go back to its 40s pretty quickly. I mean, if you look from here, it literally went from 13 to 25 it literally doubled in like one week so it does have a lot of power this it just needs to gain in that steam rally otherwise it does slide quite quickly i mean it literally came down 30 percent wait probably even more it came down 42 percent which is like amazingly high um and i don't think you should be waiting for the ten dollar for it to come to this absolute lows as I think that it won't come so low and these values are literally ridiculous for Occidental. Um, other than that, uh, I hope I answered your question if you should be buying into Occidental or not. I think it's a really nice value to have uh, as an asset in your asset portfolio. Um, do make sure you don't only invest in Occidental and other safe companies like Apple. 
um, make sure that you're ready to take this risk and you know the risks uh, that stocks give to people and the rewards as well. And I want you to consider that Occidental is a high risk but also a really, really high reward stock. So make your decision wise. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you have any questions, um, please let me know down in the comment section below and like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, my God.